Oh boy, does Canva have a time saver for you. If you are making multiple versions of the same design, then the Bulk Create app can help you out. Bulk Create is great for documents where you just need to change little bits of text on each page. For example, I search for a certificate template. By the way, Canva has a wide variety of certificates. There's thousands to choose from. There are serious certificates, colorful certificates, playful certificates, plain certificates, and ornate certificates. I'll choose this one. While the cursive font is pretty, I'm going to change it so that I know that everyone can actually read it. Changing the font change the width of the text. I want to be sure this text box is wide enough for the longest name on my list. So I enter the longest name. If there's room for Elizabeth's name, then I know that all the names will fit in this text box. I further customize the certificate to meet my needs. Here's a spreadsheet of names of students and their topics in Google Sheets. You could use Excel for this if that's where your data is. I download the spreadsheet as a CSV file, which is a comma separated values file. It's the format that Canvas Bulk Create can use. I click apps in the sidebar and search for Bulk Create. I click the icon. It explains that I can add my data as a CSV file, or I can enter the data manually into Canva. Since I have a CSV file, I click Upload. It shows I have two columns of data in the CSV, one labeled name and the other labeled topic. Next, I right click on the name in my design or I can click the More button in the floating toolbar. I choose Connect Data and choose Name. The text is replaced with placeholder text. For this certificate, I want to indicate a topic. You might have a score, I don't know, a quote, a level, or some other accomplishment to include. I right-click the text box and choose to Connect Data and select Topic. So each certificate will have the same design, but the names and topics will be replaced with the data from my CSV file. Let's make it happen. I click Continue. I click that I will apply data to all the records in my data set. It's showing it will create 26 pages. I click the Generate button. Ta-da! A new design has opened that has 26 pages. Each page has a different name, and it has filled in each student's topic. I can, of course, now click Share, choose Download, and Save as a PDF that I can then print.